Sadasi, a commitment with the future of Mexico. To preserve the environment for future generations is no longer an option. Today, every human activity must have plans and strategies in order to preserve the resources of a generating source of social and economic wealth. This way of thinking has turned into one of the main commitments for Sadasi, the main housing developer who bets for quality, developing cutting-edge housing projects in which all elements, project ideas, materials, construction systems, and new technologies join together to work out as conducive environment for the global development of its residents. According to your project's needs, Sadasi has integrated several eco-technologies from the design stage, integrating urban concepts, community life, and equipment in every residence. Sadasi is leader in developing new models for water utilization, reprocessing and treatment, integrating to these developments rainwater infiltration systems, incorporation of double-channel drainage systems that separate debris from the pluvial intake. Sadasi is currently developing Jardines del Sur housing development located in the city of Cancun, Quintana Roo. This is a project with more than 2,000 middle-income residential housing with an opening price of $48,000, is financiable through different bank loan options, as well as those granted by national housing organisms. Sadasi has built within this housing development a housing project with a zero energy approach. This kind of residence generates all energy needed for its residents to comfortably dwell in. A zero energy residence meets all your energy needs, thanks to its efficient design and materials used. Besides the installation of renewable energy sources within, consequently, this is a zero emission pollutants residence with a minimal impact in the environment as well. Considering that 11% of GHE emissions, greenhouse effect gas, in Mexico correspond to houses, this kind of zero energy residences offer considerable advantages in the fight against climate change and fossil fuels energetic dependence. To confront the zero energy challenge, the perspective of Sadasi's proposal is to achieve energy efficiency by means of balancing social, economic, and environmental benefits. This is why we carry out an integral scheme from its concept, design, construction, and functionality, in which the house must demand less energy, which is to be covered with renewable energy within a cost range that procures economic viability and its consequent implementation in future projects. One of the features of a zero energy house, and also the main limitation, is that the installation of renewable energies usually implies a greater initial cost in comparison to conventional houses. Consequently, in order to achieve competitive costs, an important step was to estimate renewable energy systems facilities in order that they accomplish an economic amortization. Under this premise, the ideal result is accomplished by the support of conventional energies to meet up the peak demands. In other words, to design the renewable energy system up to the point in which it is economically viable. Therefore, the zero energy concept is redefined and a new approach is put forward, which is towards zero energy. This is quite significant in Mexico because there is currently a subsidy for the consumption of electrical energy. This approach would be quite different in the case in which electrical energy fees would have another integration and or subsidies were redefined from consumption to generation. The residence chosen to be the prototype towards zero energy is a house with a construction area of 92 square meters distributed in two levels with a southern orientation, an area of 137 square meters with the following living areas, two bedrooms, living room, dining room, kitchen, and two and a half bathrooms. The structure is made of masonry block and lightened slabs of ready mixed concrete. Sadasi's solution towards zero energy at first was to understand the reasons for the house energy and these are cultural factors from users who affect their energetic expense, design and technological factors that make energy inefficient in our buildings. We calculated the energy demand using sophisticated 3D computer tools to organize a typical year in the best possible way, considering aspects such as orientation and location, local weather, materials used, thermal isolation, illumination, or electrical and air conditioning systems efficiency. For the Toward Zero Energy house design, 
different combinations of passive strategies of bioclimatic architecture and thermal surrounding were analyzed, preserving the same interior comfort level. Some of the variables considered were double glass windows, clear glass, dark glass, sunproof glass, wall and ceiling isolation and its variations, isolating materials such as polyurethane, extruded and expanded polystyrene, reflective and opaque acrylic sealant, parasols in all windows or only in some of them, etc. For each of the considered combinations, we calculated energy demands as well as the corresponding costs. We evaluated the outcome and the most efficient combination of eco-technologies was achieved, consisting in the following specifications. Thermal isolation. One, roof, two and a half inches of extruded polystyrene with a thermal resistance of 16.4 degrees Fahrenheit per square foot, BTU hour. Two, walls, one and a half inches of extruded polystyrene with a thermal resistance of 9.5 degrees Fahrenheit per square foot, BTU hour. Three, thermal bridges elimination, constant isolation without any interruption double clear glass windows in every window, reflective sealant, windows shading, south and east front, door and window sealing to prevent air filtration, energy efficient light bulbs, highly efficient low energy house appliances, air conditioned, particularly designed for efficient house conditions, certified low energy refrigerators, water-efficient devices, such as low-consumption valves, sprinklers, and toilets. Through the comparison of the dynamic energy simulation results of both houses, the results are conventional housing, 7,505 kilowatts hour, efficient housing, 4,470 kilowatts hour, savings housing, 3,035 kilowatts hour, this means by implementing bioclimatic architecture and passive elements, we are able to achieve savings of 40.4% in energy demand. Consequently, the generation of renewable energy also is reduced in the same proportion. Starting from this energy demand, it was developed a system combining renewable energy plus conventional energy in order for the electrical consumption of the house to be within the range of the federal electrical energy subsidy. The system that meets up the proposed targets is a photovoltaic equipment of 1.125 kilowatts peak that stops the sunbathing of the project city, producing electrical energy for an average total of 6 kilowatts hour per day. In other words, 2,190 kilowatts hour per year, which is equivalent to 49% of the electrical energy required for a comfortable indoor temperature of 22 degrees centigrade and 62% for a 24 degrees centigrade temperature. The ideal for these houses with photovoltaic panels is that they are self-sufficient without the need to be connected to the power network. Nevertheless, to achieve this, it is required a greater initial investment corresponding to the batteries, which currently make the project economically unviable. That is the reason we decided to interconnect the system to the power network by means of a bi-directional meter to return the energy and to store it, allowing it to be consumed later when needed. With this project, towards zero energy, Sadasi will carry out measurings within one year in order to evaluate the real energy performance and to confirm the economic profitability of the project. On the other hand, one of the purposes is to involve the authorities and governmental housing institutions in the measurement and interpretation of results in order to identify design basis, public energy policies, electric energy rates, generation of new ecological mortgages, and other instruments that serve to the challenge of housing environmental care. All these efforts not only seek to preserve the environment, but also to consider that the housing sustainability implies also the goal to improve quality living of its residents, for which it is essential to implement models that make interaction between residents of the developments more efficient, procuring for a better coexistence life. This is not a new story. Sadasi has been developing for more than decades integral housing developments that work out as authentic cities, surrounded by schools, health centers, commercial and recreational areas, and spaces for community reunion. That is why Sadasi is much more than a housing developer. It is a community life generator with a deep commitment with the future of Mexico.